What's up, y'all? I'm back in my natural habitat. We're garage selling today. Michigan's longest US 12 garage sales with Thane and Mikey G. Yes. It's gonna be a legendary day. Let's get to it. This is US 12, a stretch of road that runs 2,500 miles from Aberdeen, Washington, all the way to Detroit, Michigan. And this entire stretch will be lined with garage sales. I have a couple of friends with me and I'm hoping that between all of us, we can find video games to flip to make money for my reselling business. I've been going to garage sales like this for 20 years and throughout the day, I'm gonna show you my biggest tool for success when hunting for games, especially in 2022. The power of the ask. <sighs> Just ask for games. And she said she forgot to bring them out. So we're gonna see some games. You know what you're looking to get? So, I think he just said like a dollar a piece on the games. Okay. And then the consoles? Um, probably, I'd say like 10 bucks a piece. Okay. So what kind of deal would you make on the, on the tub? Um, I can do 35. All right. I'll just take it then. <laughs> you happen to have like old Nintendo or Game Boy? I, so, I know he has a Nintendo, but getting rid of it or what he's doing with it okay he might bring it out i don't know if it's inside we take a look we can tell you how much we give you for it you can tell him okay yeah that's so good. as soon as that he calls usually at his lunch break okay. and i'll see if he, that's something we'll grab it yeah awesome. get rid of it that's awesome. yep you yeah. just have a good day yeah, you too. all right so we did get games first uh is this the first time yeah yeah first actual games they're in horrible condition like scratched up dirty a lot of the discs are gone. I assume they're all going to be in rough shape. But the price was right. $35 for the entire tub. Which does include a PS4 Slim and an Xbox 360. And some games. Half of them are in there. Half of them aren't. It's the dirtiest batch. Sorry, Al Pal and Sky Guy. <laughs> but we couldn't say no to that deal. Oh. Full on back there. We should probably pick that up. Hello. Hi. I'll take this. Right. Two for orange. Do you guys have any uh, any other video games? Any old Nintendo or GameCube or PlayStation or anything like that laying around? I feel like my husband probably does. Yeah. Um, and, anything he wants to sell? Most likely. Okay. If you come back after noon, okay. he will be here. Could I could I get his number and I could I could text him in that way we're gonna be going up and around so that way he can text me if he has anything. Yeah, sure. All right, we just picked this up for two bucks. It's like a original Xbox full on backpack, pretty awesome. And we use that as the conversation starter to ask for more games. They have them, husbands, but he's not home. Thing got the number. Hopefully we'll land them later. One of the biggest ways to score at garage sales can be from callbacks. Sometimes we get leads on things like games and cards, but the owner doesn't have them out at the sale. So we get phone numbers from the owners and meet up with them later when they bring out the items. That being said, it's very uncommon for this to happen. Usually you need to get them to bring the item out when you are with them, when you meet them first, because they will most likely not call back. This day was kind of nutty because this just doesn't happen very often and it happened twice in one day. There are hundreds of sales, so we need to cover ground fast. Hi, little frogger. I'm not looking, so you tell me. <laughs> While I'm playing real life frogger, I want to get into a little backstory on my reselling business. There's a ton of things that I need in order to run my business, especially when processing stuff from these garage sales. The stuff like just the bubble wrap, the craft paper, the boxes, the envelopes that are over there. We have so many supplies, and just keeping those things in order can be a little bit complicated. And a large portion of my business is managed online. And if you know me, you know that I try to make things as efficient as possible everywhere I go, and that's where Opera comes in. So Opera's a web browser that has a lot of features that integrate everything that I use into one clean space. They have a built-in sidebar to keep things clean and organized, a way that I can add Facebook, Instagram, and other messengers to easily make deals with you guys. There's even a built-in ad blocker and VPN that you can toggle on and off. Opera has something called pin boards where I can add screenshots, links, notes, anything I need to quickly reference. I made this board to have easy access to all the shipping supplies that I use and recommend for my business. And this one to get to my different selling dashboards. I've shared these important links with you guys in the past, but this 
this will make it a little bit easier. I'll actually put a link to the pin boards that I'm using here so you guys can check them out, see if there's any supplies or anything that you need for your business. Opera was really easy for us to download. So if you don't have it, check out the link in the description below to download it yourself. Thanks for doing that. It really helps us to be able to push out more content for you guys like today's bonus video. Now let's get back to the garage sales. Games, games, games. I'll go through them. I know what they're all worth. Okay. I'll tell you what they're worth, and I usually will say I'll pay about half of that because I got to do the yeah. work to separate them all out. Yeah, just like the I'll guy in Vegas fair. that has the pawn shop. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. So I would say more fair than yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name, Rick. Yeah. Yes. yes. Potential Pokemon cards, vintage, on the way. We'll see. You happen to have like Pokemon cards, magic cards, sports cards? Uh, somewhere I have a book of Pokemon cards. But I have not went through them to see what's even in there. Yeah. I've kind of been tracking the, you know, yeah. the all through yeah, the those are, have these cards good. that you know I was just throwing out because they were worthless right. years ago. I know, right? You know? <laughs> the same uh, way. But I'll, I'll try and get those out too while yeah. I while I'm looking because yeah, they're down the basement somewhere. Kind of stuff. Don't forget about this guy. Before the end of the video, he calls back, and what he has for us is crazy. All right, guys. So have we found? video games out at a garage sale yet never <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we've been to garage sales but you know this is how i started my full-time reselling business always sourcing from garage sales and we almost never get stuff that's out at the sale and we've had a lot of success uh, over the years with garage sales and it comes down to asking at every sale specifically they often say no if you ask for video games and then you say mm -hmm. well what about wii GameCube, yes yeah. gamecube playstation nintendo. nintendo try to cover every single category that you can to jog their memory in this case grant we just met and he has all the games but they're tucked away in the basement he's willing to get rid of them so i got his number again that's the key the pokemon card lady she's going actively her husband is going to get the pokemon cards from her 28 year old son which is my age which means they're vintage. So we have a couple leads and hopefully they pan out. We'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm for a binder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, we're just looking for Charlie there. It's base set two. It's shadowless Pokemon cards. I don't have a shadow on the right. Only in base set. Are you seeing anything any good in there? Nothing crazy. Okay. There, I put the best ones on top here okay you know all right so i'll give you two different offers then okay seven cards if you do a dollar a piece or just these ones for 20 because i'm mainly interested in pokemon these are Yu-Gi-Oh. oh okay um yeah you can have all those okay these are all all these and those for 20 perfect and then i would do the 30 like i said okay we can That's do that awesome. well we got some cards vintage Nothing too crazy, but 20 bucks for all of them and then 30 for the PS4. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Alright, just picked up a little camera score. I was kind of picking through, seeing if there was a good one in there, and they just said $20 for everything, so... I handed over $20. There's a point and shoot in there that I'm intrigued about, but some really vintage ones. That'll probably be pretty decent. And then this one. A lot of these point and shoot cameras... I've been doing pretty good recently. There's a lot of a lot of these that are worth like a hundred bucks. I haven't looked it up. I mean, some of them are worthless, some are not. Hello there. 40, 40 to 60 dollars. 45, 40 all day long. <laughs> That's crazy. So definitely look up point and shoot cameras if you're out and about, because a lot of times there'll be a buck at a garage sale at a thrift store and people don't look at them. They're just gonna be sitting out. I guess people are starting to like these for collecting and reusing purposes, so not bad. That's why. It's a, it's a better experience. It's a little dirty. It's my sister's. Oh, nice. Okay. Like I said, I don't, I don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got Fishing a car charger in there and then my charger in there. This is my maybe pile here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. You got any uh, higher end sports card type stuff? or? Probably not. They're no. all my brothers. Okay. Would you I'm take five for the, this little pile? Nothing crazy. Yeah. 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 I'll take that. Mm -hmm. there, you there you go. Good deal. I know oh, I got a bin. I'll just oh, throw it okay. in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. I'll give yeah. you a call if I find any. We got it somewhere, but. Oh, yeah. Games, games, games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Old Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. 
these games. Do you have an N64 too, or just the one game? Oh no, that's just a random. We random. Used to, but... So console doesn't work. Games probably will. Look at it. Oh, it's think... probably the power cord yeah, issue. Yeah, it, up... it looks like the AV thing probably doesn't work either. What would you want for the tote? Honestly, I have no idea. How about like 40 bucks? Sure. Good with that? Yeah. Sweet. I mean, I'm just holding on to there it. You go. I've just been holding on to it like, what if maybe someday I could get it to work, right. but it just sits there. So. Yeah, that, it'll be a tough one, but for the games, it's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Thank you for grabbing it. Thank you. No other Game Boy or any other game stuff you got no, later? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Well, I appreciate it. Yep, no problem. Thank you. Mikey G. Yeah. Carrying the games. Just got a bin full of SNES games at a garage sale. Sitting in the basement collecting dust. At 11.03. Let's go. We'll take a look at everything video games you got. Yeah. Yeah, no rush. I mean, I said Dreamcast, but never, maybe there will be one. PS something and a Wii is what is incoming at this garage sale. Man, I don't know very much about it. I just keep watching like YouTube videos and trying to like gather everything I need for it. Yeah. yeah. I got my buddy over here. He's pretty good about it. So. Did you find the little handheld P PlayStation PSP or something? Oh, it's, it's just a little tiny disc. Like for, a, I don't know. It's like. Oh, okay. In a big. No other games or anything? Uh, no. Okay. So. Depending on the. Keep it real with me, buddy. I got ribs. Yeah. <laughs> just. If it was a newer Xbox. If yeah, it was a newer so. Xbox, that'd be a big difference. Okay, well, go give me that and we'll switch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't win at every sale. Sometimes the best thing to do is to know when you shouldn't buy something and move to the next sale quickly. Well, if you find more, I'll leave that with you. Because I'm always okay. buying video games, cars, um, collectibles. I know this guy around the corner. He, he's got video games back there okay. and stuff. So. Are they having a sale? Yeah, he's oh, back okay. there. Yep, he's having cool. a sale too. Well, thank you. All right. So I am being picky, right, with what I buy. But this right here, this is just easy. All these um, Mechanics Illustrated, Popular Science, they're all kind of related. They go together and they're like vintage. These look, gosh, I don't know, 60s? Yep, 66. I was looking up a lot of like five from the 60s went for 25 bucks. I got the whole thing for 20. There's probably 100 in there. 150, 200 bucks in value. So buying uh, things where the lot is already made for you, I'm not even gonna do any work. To separate them, just put them all together. Cheap buy now, get them moved, make some money. Um, we got a bottom dollar on them. We're all three. Well, I probably wouldn't want this one, but. No, I'm actually waiting for some guy from some Somebody came through and said that there's a guy that comes through and buys them and he'll give you 50 bucks for that, for the yeah. old one, yeah. and it doesn't even have to work. Hmm. Sell to that guy. Long, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy's not going to be in business very long, is he? Well, I, I guess he, uh, he fixes it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. 75 bucks for a non-working original Xbox. I thought about it. <laughs> Considered it mightily. But then I passed. Also, the Wii you know, 75 as well, so no bueno. I bought in North Pole, Alaska. Was it really? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where we were at. For the, nobody's going to buy that thing unless I can find that original guy that I should have sold it to about five years ago because we haven't it had was, a yard sale since. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. And. <laughs> yeah, that was. Because I said, man, that's nostalgia. It's like, uh -huh. just because. Yeah, you know, I was poor when we were going, so getting that for the kids, oh, man, yeah, that was big, a big, big deal, deal for them. Yeah. I mean, we had a lot of hours of fun off of that. Yeah, man. That's, that's funny pretty, that you remember. That's, that's cool that you remember. Like, I, think. <laughs> you know, I gotta find and, my DS. Yeah, because we got little, we got the little DS, and that's still where we we'll got. We'll do a, that. We got a few of the things and stuff. We'll go make some cash, and we'll do this this way. There you go. Here you go. Sweet. All right, well, right man. Well, good you. luck. I hope you can yeah. grab a few gems there. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again years later. Yeah. 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 See you later. That's crazy. That's though. crazy. Just thinking, I had it sitting there. I said, nobody's going to buy that unless it's the one. <laughs> How was it? All right, no shame. Picked up a briar horse. 20 bucks. This one is worth about 60. One thing I learned in our hobby shop buyout that we did recently is if 
The horse is kind of a speckled or different kind of colored horse, not just a standard brown. It's more likely to be worth good money. So I looked this one up, sure enough, 60 bucks, got it for 20. After waiting the majority of the day, we finally got a call back from the guy we met earlier. And this is why we love garage sales. Oh, of course Genesis. Down here is the Atari 7800. Oh, 7, nice. Yeah. And there's like 20 games in here. Yeah. Mainly cool. Atari. There's a couple of the Genesis games. Yeah. Idea what you want for the for the batch? I'd probably want to be around 200. For that. Yeah. Which I know it's well worth it. I mean, the Atari alone a couple years ago was over 150 then. The 7800 is nice because it, it plays 2600 games too. I was looking for the Atari Power Core. I, I know that the uh, Atari and the Genesis have everything there to make them work because yeah. I was I using this. them for this end and that I know that's the 7800. It's a proprietary one, so it's hard to find replacements. Games. Those would all be about four years old. Back when uh, okay. there should be a Chandra in there that at the time was like a forty dollar card. Okay. If that gives you any clue on when they were all over the place over the years. I don't know where the Wii went. <laughs> I know it went downstairs somewhere. And you have found Right. Okay. I'm like, what is this? Okay. So what would kind of be like your bottom dollar? I I think I, I'd have to add, get at least 175 out of them. Okay. If we were to do the 175, we'd probably get the magic cards. Thank you so Thank much, you. man. Appreciate you grabbing it all out. Do you need the bin? Should we grab one? No, no. Uh, that, that'd be all right. Sweet, sweet. That'll make life easier. Yeah, well, that's, that's how I was using it. Was just... <laughs> all right. We got a call back from one of the sales from earlier today, and it panned out really well. Um, at first, we didn't think he was going to get anything, but he was able to find some stuff, dig it out. We ended up coming to a deal for 185 He wanted 200 Negotiated a little bit. So there's some PS3 games. There's an Atari, but this is actually like probably the most desirable Atari. One of the most, Atari 7800. Backwards compatible with 2600, so that's definitely a good one to look for. And it does have the original power cord, which is quite expensive if you don't have it. And then a Sega Genesis, two PS2 consoles. One's a slim, one's a fat. And there are some decent games in here. I know I saw Battletoads Double Dragon, Ariel Little Mermaid. There's some Atari ones that looked interesting. Park. Yeah. We might have to get them all laid out at home, but definitely a good score to end the day, 185 bucks in. Hopefully it all works. <laughs> That's where there's a little bit of risk, but we'll take it. Well, here's all of the scores from the entire day. $559 spent. The potential value on the entire day is over $1,600 in after fees value. So over $1,000 in profit, which is phenomenal. Probably the top three scores, in my opinion, are the Super Nintendo. You got Final Fantasy II as the best game, some other nice ones. Console doesn't work, but for 40 bucks, that's an insane deal. This score at the end of the day, 60 games, four consoles, $185 all in. And then another really good honorable mention <laughs> and probably top three, the Pokemon cards, vintage, plus the PS4 Slim down here for 50 bucks all in on an ask. Actually, all three of those scores were on an ask. So that is the point. Always ask at garage sales. You never know what you're gonna get, but if you don't ask, you're probably gonna get nothing because even this, the dirtiest score of the day, still a really good score for $35 with a PS4 and 360. All of those were on an ask. This was on an ask. Almost every, every video game score we got was on an ask, including the Switch Lite as well for 100 bucks. That's all six scores. That's blowing my mind right now. So the power, the power of the Ask was super strong on this day. And if you want to see another time where the Power of the Ask was extremely strong and I paid more than what she was asking on Nintendo stuff, check out this video right here. See you next time.